In today's video, I've got five facts about Kobayashi from the series Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Kobayashi's bio, personality, some trivia, and more. Good maids don't talk that way. No threatening murder. Now, if you enjoy these fact videos, make sure to smash the like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. For more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Of course, if you want more 414 videos, why not head over to my Patreon where I have some exclusive videos, monthly hangouts, and early access to these videos before anybody else. Also, I have just launched the Project Senpai channel where I co-host it with Alonzi. We put out epic anime collab videos, the Project Senpai podcast, and more. Links to that are in the description below. And before we head on, quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. You know me. Kobayashi is the main protagonist of the series. She is a human that works as a computer programmer. Kobayashi made her debut in episode one of the anime and chapter one of the manga. Now, Kobayashi's birthday is unknown, but we do know that she is currently 25 years of age. Appearance-wise, Kobayashi is a young woman of average height, often mistaken as a male, and uh, yeah, even by the Maid Dragon fanbase. Kobayashi is noticeably flat-chested and has been seen to show her frustration about this. There's no way in hell you're really just a D. I'm a D for dragon if that helps. She tends to aim this towards the more top-heavy dragons in their human form, and you know, in one of her drunken rampages, demanded that both Toru and Lukua should share some of their black blessings with her. But it's not a bad thing though, you know, many of the community, you know, fly the flat is just as flag, so uh, chin up Kobayashi. Kobayashi's hair is medium length and a pale red colour. Her hair is often worn in a ponytail. Her eyes are hazel in colour and are often described as deadpan. Especially pre-Toru, Kobayashi would always have very expressionless mannerisms, but upon meeting her dragon maid, Kobayashi has become both open and approachable. Not forgetting her specs, of course, but attire-wise, Kobayashi wears a couple of casual attires outside of work, which consists of green trousers, a blue shirt, a hoodie, a white shirt underneath a light brown cardigan, and so on. As for those work hours, Kobayashi's office attire consists of a white buttoned up shirt with a black tie and black trousers. Personality-wise, Kobayashi is a very kind-hearted person, and it's really easy to see why she has forged such strong connections with the dragons. She just has such a cool and collected manner to herself. She is very friendly, reliable, and also brave enough to put herself in dangerous situations, putting her own neck on the line for one of the dragons, and this was seen on more than one occasion. She does tend to struggle when it comes to winding down and letting herself go, as she is often the voice of reason and refuses uses to get involved with any of the fun activities. Now, this could all stem from her background. Not much has really been mentioned about Kobayashi's childhood, but we do know that both her parents worked, so Kobayashi was often alone, especially at events such as, you know, the school sport festival, etc. We also know that she doesn't really speak or see her family all that often, but she hasn't fallen out with them and their relationship is still good. Now, we do see a complete shift in the usually calm, collected, and friendly Kobayashi, and uh, that is when alcohol is involved. Our girl becomes extremely lively and rather aggressive, particularly when the topic of her interest is brought up. And I'm going to say, you know, by interest, I don't mean love interest. I mean her interest slash obsession with maids. Yes, poor Toru usually gets the brunt of this Kobayashi's drunken wrath. Poor Toru. Though we know Tyru secretly likes it. Kobayashi's Japanese voice actor is Mutsumi Tamura. She has interestingly voiced many characters' younger selves, such as Kakashi Hatake in Naruto, Jinta Yadomi from Anohana, Taiju Oki in Dr. Stone, and more. Kobayashi's English voice actor is Leah Clark. She has voiced other characters such as Himiko Toga in My Hero Academia, Arya Kunzaki from Arya the Scarlet Ammo, 
Yun Ijima in New Game, and more. Okay, next up we're going to focus on her relationship with Toru. In doing this, we're going to look into the events that occur from the manga starting from chapter 48. So if you don't want to be hit by those spoilers, then skip ahead to the next fact. So, it's certainly no secret that Toru harbors some pretty intense romantic feelings for Kobayashi, as seen in both her actions and mannerisms towards Kobayashi or anyone trying to get close to her. Now, in the beginning, Kobayashi was rather strict with Toru and would often call her out for both her antics as well as her lack of knowledge when it comes to the human way of life. But as time goes on, she begins to show signs of affection towards the maid of hers, who not only works very hard for her, but has also had had such a large impact on her own life. It started by simply holding Toru's hand when she needed comfort. She then gifted Toru her very own scarf and then went as far as defending Toru from her father's wrath, risking her own life in the process. The bond between these two has you know, only grown stronger and as of chapter 48 of the manga, Kobayashi started to return romantic feelings towards Toru. Now, chapter 97 was the big one for these two. The pair were out on a flight through the sky, Kobayashi on the back of the dragon form Toru. Kobayashi asks her about her feelings, to which Toru responds with the obvious in that she was in love with her master. Toru was then hit with the shock that she had been desperately waiting for when Kobayashi responds by saying that she likes her too. And the reason that it took her so long to tell her this was because it took her this long to simply accept the fact that she had these kind of feelings for her. As you can imagine, Toru goes into a state of overwhelming happiness as she begins to dance through the sky. Though Kobayashi didn't really appreciate this as uh, she was currently riding Toru at the time. Okay, let's finish this video off with some trivia about Kobayashi. Kobayashi's name means small forest as it has the kanji for Ko and Bayashi. She also shares this name with a famous competitive eater named Takaru Kobayashi, though it hasn't been confirmed whether there is an actual connection. On the topic of food, Kobayashi said that she can't do hijiki or eggplant. Whether she is allergic to them or simply doesn't like them was not confirmed. Now, Kobayashi enjoys a brand of alcohol called Dragon Slayer. The bottle she shared with Toru when they first met was this very brand. And on that first meeting, Toru warned Kobayashi that the sword of God she was helping to remove was dangerous and incredibly harmful. Kobayashi's lack of hesitance is an indication that Kobayashi doesn't have faith in religious beliefs. Kobayashi works for Jigo Kumagiri System Engineering Incorporation. Her monitor displayed a HTML format, which leads us to believe that her job may be a website developer. Now, according to the alarm clock in her bedroom, we can see that her regular sleep schedule is between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So, a constant gag throughout the show is Kobayashi's lower back pain. It is later revealed in the show that the cause of this is her terrible posture whilst at work. Finally, Kobayashi is described as a kudere. A kudere is a love interest that is calm and collected on the outside and is shown to never panic. They tend to show little emotion, so much so that they are often described as completely emotionless, even though they may actually be hiding their true emotions deep within. Now, other examples of this type are Kanade Tachibana from Angel Beats, Homura Akemi in Madoka Magica, and Euclid Wood Hellsai from Is This a Zombie? But thank you so much for watching my video, five facts about Kobayashi from the series Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. As always, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Twitch and Discord, links are in the description below. And of course, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you do not miss future fact videos. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, don't forget to check out my brand new venture in Project Senpai. Again, links are in the description below. As always, Always a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, Brian, Blake, Andrew, BS Tuna, Emmelyn, Kivase, Chris, S Tauhai, and Zintag for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to head on over there yourself to check out the amazing rewards on offer, including a super special awesome exclusive series for Patreons only. But that is it from me. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.